Saturday morning YouTube pipe community. It is like deja vu all over again here. I got on here last week and talked about how bad the historical flooding was in my area and the mudslides and the road slips. And it, the same thing exactly happened the same time as last week. Thir Thursday going into Friday, we got torrential severe rain again. Everything flooded again. All the creeks and streams and now the river. Everything that got hit last week is getting hit again this week. It's like completely over again. Same scenario. Trees down everywhere, mudslides, road slips, just a mess. Today, I am smoking something that I've smoked many a times. It's one of my favorite Virginias, Capstan Blue. This is a newer tin. And I'm going to, well, I'm going to probably smoke one bowl straight. And then I'm going to beef her up a little bit and mix it with some exclusive that's one of my favorite vapor concoctions that I've made up myself over the years. Wait for it. I like the Capstan Yellow, but the blue is by far my favorite. Get in there and get you some of that. If you're not gonna smell, at least look. Smells wonderful, and we'll get this pack and give my thoughts. And we're back. I dried the capstan blue out about a half hour, and I didn't wait. I went ahead and already mixed it with some exclusive. If you didn't know, Exclusive is a bulk vapor by Cornell and Deal, and it's very heavy, heavy on the Perique. It's, there's hardly any Virginia in it. It's a very strong Perique blend. I like it absolutely just smoking it straight, and I love mixing it with other tobaccos. I just wanted something different today. Instead of trying something new, uh, Capstan Blue, like I said, is one of my staple Virginias. People ask me all the time, what's some of your favorite tins to sell or to age to get better? Well, Capstan Blue is one of them. Escudo, Deluxe Navy Rolls, uh, them's another ones that age excellent as well. But this is very nice, sweet, spicy. Bold in strength, a strong blend with the exclusive mixed in. I had misspoken last week about the Chicago Pipe Show. It's going on this weekend. I know a lot of people that are there. I hope they have a good time and safe travels. Smoking in my 1965 Dunhill Prince. Look at it! With the weather being so crappy this weekend again, I'm going to get some pipes banged out. Uh, don't really have a lot of plans this weekend. I'm going to watch the Ultimate Fighting Championship tonight. I believe it's number 300 if anybody watches that uh, on pay-per-view. Probably watch it down in the rec room at the bar and enjoy a smoke while I'm watching it and maybe a finger or two of bourbon. I'm gonna make some more mortar this week. I'll get, like I said, two, ball, two pipes out of that. The last batch of Morda I've been cutting through again brought me back from years ago. When you're cutting that stuff open on the bandsaw, 
it's just amazing. It just smells so floral, like a bed of roses. I don't know what the story is behind that with that aged bog oak wood like that, but it just smells fantastic. The whole garage smelled like a red rose. Not much going on here, like I said, other than the flooding again. If you're a vapor guy and you haven't tried exclusive yet, I highly recommend you trying it. Strong, fermented, musty, almost smells like barnyard manure. <laughs> That's that preak. It's what you want. I believe I got a pound or two of that left. Uh, reporting back from last week, I did the Cornell and Deal Mad Fiddler's Flake. When I did that review, I you know, smoked it right out of the tin after about 20 minute drying time. I liked it, but it didn't wow me. I smoked two more bowls that day and I've been smoking it all week at work along with you know other blends. And wow, <laughs> just a couple hours. Well, I let it sit out all night, Saturday night and dry out in the garage here. It aired out and dried out and it's just between night and day now. I, I really like that blend. I'd have bumped it up another point, point and a half probably for sure. I think I gave it a five and a half. Uh, my friend Dion had said, I, cause I kept thinking I was picking up some kind of liquor topping, but I couldn't find any info on that. Dion had said that it's Apple Jack Brandy. So if that's the case, I couldn't find any info on it. I don't know where he found that from, but Apple Jack Brandy is supposed to be the liquor topping. And then somebody else had said that there is a little bit of Orientals in it as well. So I don't know for sure, but pretty good stuff. But that was one that I definitely liked after it dried out more. Uh, my friend Bull Moose Piper had told me, well, numerous people had told me, but he was the first one that told me the other day that Pipes and Cigars had San Sepulcro listed on their site, and they had a big 19% off sale on everything site-wide, and I refused for years to order again from Pipes and Cigars. I just, after they screwed everybody over so many times... I'm like, what the hell? I tried it, so I pulled the trigger. I got 10 more tins of San Sepulcro coming today. And I got them for like, I got 10 tins for like 106 bucks shipped with the, with the discount. So you can't beat that. I got some other things coming. And I got my eyes on a couple pipes that I'm gonna, might be snagging up this week as well. It's about all I got this week, basically just a catch-up video. I couldn't tell you what I gave this as a rating years ago, but uh, I do like the blue better than the yellow. Now I gotta revisit the yellow as well. But this stuff ages really nice, really nice. It's pretty much you get everything. You get the sweetness, you get the hay grass notes, you get the musty barnyard from the Perican exclusive. Sweet, spicy, bold. If you're a beginner smoker or just an average smoker, I wouldn't add a lot of exclusive to the blend, but play with it and see what you come up with. I go almost 50 50. Gonna get some stuff done. Hope everybody has a safe, great weekend. Talk to you, boys and girls, later.